Well, welcome back to the Sports Report Special Edition, the district draw, as we take a look at this Division II bracket. Now, this used to be conceived as the Western Buckeye League sectional, <laughs> but now with only seven of the 10 WBL teams in this district, a little bit more spread out, and we get a possibility for an Elida Bath rematch if the Wildcats get past Tiffin Columbia. Yeah, they go open up, uh, they'll play each other in that standalone there, but they also play each other this Friday night, so I'm sure that those films will be looked and scoured upon a little bit more for a nook and cranny, so to speak. But uh, I like Sol I like Salina's opportunities here. I think it's a great chance for Coach Ben and company as they go out of Lima Senior. They had the choice there. Or Riverdale forced the hand of the two seed of St. Mary's, who has to make that trip now to uh, Riverdale. And uh, what I think that bottom bracket could be a grind for St. Mary's to possibly and not only win, but they. I mean, it's going to be a tough battle for them if they want to get out. They've got some very good competition their way too. Mark, looking at the bottom half of that bracket, Wapakoneta, the four seed, they play Upper Sandusky, who's 14 and four. But you think it's a pretty good draw for Wapak? I think that's a really good draw for for Wapak. They yes, they get Upper Sandusky, and yes, Upper Sandusky was seeded third. But if you look at their schedule, it's not been a particularly challenging schedule. They're 14 and four, but a lot of their teams are Division three, and some are Division four. So I don't think it's a really tough draw at all for Wapak. I think St. Mary's, I think Wapak, I think uh, Elida, I think Salina. I think we're looking at the WBL final, uh, a district uh, semifinal and final. Looking at Division Three now, Todd, is it LCC sectional to lose? Is it their district to lose? Well, you would uh, think so. And, you know, the other part we didn't really discuss on the draw, LCC gets to choose whether they go to St. Mary's or Finley uh, as being the one seed. Uh, the other part of that is you make your main competition have to go farther. I don't think Frank Kill really talked about that, but let's face it. Everybody knows this is coming down to LCC and St. Henry. So if we can make St. Henry take the uh, long way to Finley for their game, all the better. It didn't really make much difference geographically for Lima Central Catholic. So, you know, everybody's had this penciled in for months. It would come down to LCC and St. Henry, and it certainly looks that way. Uh, but, you know, the T-Birds, uh, since Jake Williams injured his shoulder, uh, I, I really think he's very important to them. I know that Trey Cobbs, Dantes Walton have been and are spectacular, but I think Jake really adds something to that team, and I'm worried if he's not 100%, that, that would hurt them down the road. But uh, it's, it's going to be a great thing to play out, and we certainly hope it gets to the point where they play each other. Aaron, looking at the bottom half of that Division Three district, you've got two, three, and four seeds all choosing to go to Finley and avoiding LCC in the <laughs> upper half. Yeah, and from a geographical standpoint, it was a good fit for three and four to make that move. St. Henry had to because their hand was forced. They had to take the, the Finley route as a result of being that two seed. But you've got Kerry and Van Wert. Kerry with the Powers kid who's out for the year, but they've got a nice young man in Wetling who can go. And then you got Liberty Benton who's going to be in that follow game. Could see Kerry or even Van Wert against LB more than likely in that sectional final and then uh, could take on uh, St. Henry in the districts. All right, thank you very much. We're